Throbbing, soreness, achy, these words can describe what patients experience when it comes to pain. Hello, my name is Dr. Foray. I'm one of the medicine residents at the SIU Internal Medicine Clinic. Pain is common, and everyone will experience some type of pain during his or her life. However, what really is pain? When I think about pain, I think about body aches or hurting myself on accident. Pain is a soreness from working through the day with my arthritis. Some days I may work a few hours without any pain. Other days the pain is so bad that I have to sit at my desk for an hour or so. When I hurt myself at work, it just adds to my arthritis. Some of the pains I get feel different from my arthritis pain, but they're still hard on me. On top of my arthritis, all this pain puts me down for a couple of days. It seems like the pain never really goes away. It makes things hard to do. Pain is just a feeling I get when I hurt myself. There's really nothing else to it. I have lower back pain, so when I move or turn a certain way, I feel uncomfortable and have soreness that runs down my back. Those feelings are what I consider pain. Sometimes I can barely move since the pain is so bad. I start to slow down at work because the pain makes it hard to do anything. There are days in which I sit around my house most of the day because of my back. Pain is a body's response to a feeling of getting hurt. When something is thought to be painful, the body wants to protect itself from this pain. Once there is pain, it allows us to see the place that was hurt and stop the pain. However, if the pain keeps going, then it can become worse for the patient. This leads to changes in the body. Pain is a mix of emotions and injury. It is about the beliefs of what is painful and what isn't. Some patients with bad injuries do not feel the pain, while some patients with smaller injuries feel the pain a lot. This shows that everyone manages pain differently, which makes it important for the patient to be involved in treatment. As you can tell, the definitions of pain vary from person to person. This can be confusing to some patients. However, the definitions do follow a common theme. They talk about pain being damage or injury to the body. Pain is defined as an unpleasant sensory and emotional response to actual or potential bodily harm. This shows that there is more to pain than one may believe. As we go through the video, we will talk about pain and different types of pain, and we'll discuss about pain management and how it works and how complex it can be. In addition, we will show you examples of how healthcare providers manage pain in patients. Finally, we'll talk about ways to become more active and involved in your pain management. Hello, my name is Dr. Christine Todd, and I'm a general internist. As pointed out, pain is a collection of emotions, behavior, and harm. This fact makes pain more complex than just a definition. But how can pain affect each of these areas? It has to do with how pain is felt. Pain starts when your body senses that something might hurt you. Your body takes this information to your brain and your brain manages how you react. Whether it's a paper cut or a very painful injury, this response is a natural response process by your body. In fact, as you go through this process, it is possible to dull or even prevent pain by just controlling how you react to it. This is the idea behind some techniques such as acupuncture and stress reduction and relaxation. However, not all pain can be managed by these techniques. Sometimes we have to use medications to treat pain. As you know, medications can be helpful to treat pain. These medications are useful because they work by preventing or dulling pain in different ways. Medications such as opioids, like hydrocodone, oxycodone, and morphine, and nerve blocks like lidocaine work by blocking or slowing the signals along irritated nerves. Steroids, like prednisone, and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs also known as NSAIDs, like ibuprofen and naproxen, decrease the swelling around the injury and thus decrease the pain. Drugs like duloxetine, amitriptyline, gabapentin, and tramadol work by changing the types of pain signals along nerves. There are also drugs like acetaminophen, which is Tylenol, and medications like pain creams and patches, which are also used to treat different kinds of pain. These medications are important for treatment and can be used for several different kinds of pain. Hi, my name is Tim Mikesell. I'm a first year radiology resident with the SIU School of Medicine. 
Pain can be treated in many different ways depending on how the patient feels. There are three main ways pain can be grouped. Acute pain, chronic pain, and breakthrough pain. Acute pain is pain that has a sudden onset from an injury, like stubbing your toe or hitting your head. It can be considered a normal response, as it's supposed to protect from allowing further injury to the area. Acute pain can be treated with medications, but often resolves without treatment. Patients that have acute pain usually say it's sharp, stabbing, and it causes them to grimace or wince. On the other hand, chronic pain is pain that does not go away even after the expected healing time has passed. It sometimes has no cause and can be very difficult to treat. It's usually described as dull, achy pain that causes uneasiness. Finally, there's breakthrough pain. This is similar to acute pain that happens in patients already having chronic pain. It's more severe and intense pain than the patient's usual chronic pain level. For instance, a patient might have constant pain throughout the day and then have a sharp pain when she bends over to pick up something that fell on the floor. Even though they're all described differently, acute, chronic, and breakthrough pains are all connected. One of the main ways they're connected is that acute pain can become chronic pain over time. This can be due to inadequate pain treatment, continued stress on the injury, and emotional or bodily changes. This is why treatment and education are incredibly important in pain management. Any type of pain can affect everyday life. It can affect emotional state, work, relationships, sleep, performance, and many other daily activities. Pain management can allow you to enjoy your life and not miss out. Hi, my name is Dr. Angela Sari. Even though there are three different categories of pain, acute, chronic, and breakthrough, there are different types of pain. Each type of pain has specific signs and symptoms that separate them apart. Additionally, the causes and treatments are different. This makes each type of pain unique. There are three main types of pain. The first type of pain is body pain. This general type of pain includes most pain felt by patients. This includes body pain, strains, sprains, fractures, and surgery. These injuries usually include swelling, bruising, and trouble working with the pain. Then there's neuropathic pain or neuropathy. This pain is due to damaged nerves or nerves that are not working correctly. Nerve pain may feel like a numb, burning, or pins and needles feeling. Sensitive to touch and temperature are some of the signs of nerve damage. Neuropathy occurs with certain medical conditions like diabetes and spinal cord injuries. Finally, there's psychological or emotional pain. Think back again to the pain message going to the brain. The pain signal goes to parts of the brain connected with attitude, emotion and awareness. Any situation related to these parts can also cause pain. This is not completely a physical type of pain, but it can make body pain worse. This type of pain is caused by stress, depression and unstable emotions. These types of pain, though different, can all occur in one particular patient at the same time. This makes pain management difficult for some patients since it can be challenging to get their pain under control. Still, pain treatment tries to treat all patients together by using different approaches and medications. However, not all pain treatments will work for a patient, unfortunately. Each patient in pain is unique, meaning that treatment that works in one patient might not work for another patient. These differences are due to many different reasons. This means that your doctors, pharmacists, and you should work together in order to come up with treatment options that work the best for you. At first, my pain didn't get any better when I started treatment. Eventually, I told my doctor I didn't think the treatment was helping. He asked me why, and I told him I didn't think the medication was helping. After sitting down and talking more, he made some changes to my treatment. Since then, my pain has not been an issue. I should have been more open with my doctor in the beginning. Now, if I have a concern or question, I ask my doctor about it. At first, I didn't know what to expect from treatment. I was worried about the side effects of the medications and whether or not it was really going to help. There were also times at which I thought my pain would never go away. After talking to my doctor and my pharmacist, I realized that pain is a chronic condition and that pain medications can only do so much. Once I knew this, I started to do all the other things they had asked me to do, like stretching before work and relaxing for a bit after a stressful day. Even though my pain isn't all the way gone, I'm able to do more things that I couldn't since my injury. 
As you've seen throughout the video, there's a lot that goes into that small four little word, pain. Several details in the video are important for you to take away. Pain is very complicated. It involves emotions, injuries, and behaviors that work together. This can make pain difficult to treat and to control. Not all types of pain are the same. They are all different in causes, symptoms, and treatment. Correctly identifying the cause and type of pain followed by properly treating it is important. Acute pain can become chronic pain. This is why pain treatment is important from the start. Pain treatment is all about working with the patient in order to come up with the best treatment. Asking questions and being open with your doctor or pharmacist can help greatly with your pain treatment. It allows for changes in treatment when needed, as well as creates a better patient-doctor relationship. Overall, pain can be very overwhelming. However, treatments today have become focused on treating the patient, not just the pain. Pain might be damaging to patients still, but treatments can help slow and lessen that pain. As your healthcare team, it is our goal to help you manage your pain so that you can live happy and healthy. Though pain might not go away completely, the throbbing, soreness, and achiness doesn't have to take over your life. We hope that this video has opened your eyes to what pain really is and how you can be involved in your treatment. Don't forget to talk with your doctor to see how best we can control your pain together.